Hello and welcome to Catania, Sicily, home of Mount Etna. You can see it here. This is a, I don't know if this is a, no, that was the morning and this is the sunset behind Mount Etna. All right, everyone, uh, we're here in Catania and there's Mount Etna still erupting. I guess it actually erupted pretty good a couple days ago. It left ash covering airplanes and all that, which is kind of a surprise mm -hmm. considering I didn't even know we were going to see an active volcano. Hey. And we're in so. Sicily, Catania, Sicily. We were supposed yeah. to stop in Messina, but they um. But this is the Catania. yeah. So we're doing a little tour with the family, and we're uh, no, the yeah. Uh, uh, let these people come by. Yeah, don't mind nearly. There we go. It's a bunch of people. Uh -huh. well, we only got about two minutes here before we take off. So just want to say hi, good morning. We're on our way. We'll uh, bring you along. Okay, so let's set off the day here for you. We did not purchase an NCL excursion. We decided to wing it. Catania was a last minute change in the itinerary. I only found out we were not going to stop in Messina, Sicily on the day that we embarked on our cruise. So when we went to check in, we got a piece of paper showing the itinerary had changed, Messina was out, and Catania was in. Now. They still gave us an option of going to Messina, but it was a long bus ride and it was going to be a long day. So it just didn't seem like it was going to be right for us. Too much time spent. When we got off the um, breakaway, there were all kinds of little mini buses and there were one or two little huts where people were selling different tours. So we decided to do one of these tours. It was a hop on, hop off, but because we were a fairly large group, um, we all build an entire bus just on our own. So we got our own bus. We had our own little private bus driver and bus to take us around. It was only 20 euros each and it was meant to last about two and a half hours and end at one of the main or the main square in Catania where you could spend as much time as you wanted shopping, maybe getting something to eat. And in the meantime, on your way to that main square, the bus driver who spoke just a little English actually played a I think it was like a CD or, you know, he played a tape of some sort where they were pointing out different parts of the city, different um, pieces of architecture, different buildings, uh, things like the opera house and things like the churches. And this is all what, um, what we saw on our way around this beautiful little town of Catania. Actually, I believe it's a city. It's one of the cities in Sicily. See the narrow streets? and there's us, we're doing as much filming, or I should say, Dwayne was trying to do as much filming as he could from the little bus tour. And it did take us to quite a few different places. Gotta say, um, it wasn't the cleanest looking city. It had a lot of graffiti everywhere, and it did not seem extremely touristy. My guess is Messina, and it's, you know, towns and Taumina are much more touristy and get much more of the cruise travel. But look at this stunning oceanfront landscape. Remember, Sicily is a large island that is part of um, Italy. And this is beautiful volcanic rock. Um, it was hop on, hop off, so our driver stopped and let us all get off here to go and take some, some photos. And wow, it was really, really beautiful here. What a beautiful spot. Clear, clear, clear water again. That's beautiful, huh? It's amazing water. Look at the water. Look how clean. That is like perfect color water. Would you like to do a little opening here? Uh, sure. Oh, Let's see. Oh, you're clear. You're in a clear. I'm over your head. That water, the color is perfect. That's like that other beach I was at. Wow, that is. Clear, clear, clear water again. That's beautiful, huh? It's amazing water. Look at the water. Look how clean. That is like perfect color water. Would you like to do a little opening here? Uh, sure. Let's see. Oh, you're clear. You're in a clear. I'm over your head. That water, the color is perfect. That's like that other beach I was at. Wow. And after that stop where we saw the lava rock, the beautiful oceanfront area with the castle on top of the um, rock that was in front of us. After that big view, the city tour continued. Here are some, I believe, aqueducts and things underneath the city that have been preserved as part of their um, part of their ruins, I think. You can see that here. Again, we were back on the bus. And I'm not quite getting it yet, but it's coming. You see? Okay, if I get an extra minute into a video. I'm trying to get it. There we go. 
And then that? things got interesting, and guess what? The bus broke down. It totally broke. And they do have a little train in town here that you can get around on. I like the little train. It's kind of cute. And after the bus broke and the driver looking really nervous, he had us, uh, you know, get off. He told us it was only a three or four block walk to the main square, the same main square where we could catch the hop on, hop off bus that would take us back to the port, um, which came around every hour. So we got out and we started walking. But before heading to the big main square, we hit this smaller square where the building here in front is actually the theater. This is a theater slash opera house. Uh, it's the square where the opera house is located. Lots of cute little outdoor cafes. Some were open, some only were going to open for around lunch. This was morning again. Not everything was uh, up and ready for us. But um, yeah, so it was really, really interesting to see this little square and to get to walk the streets of Catania. And as I said, there it, it didn't seem to be extremely touristy, certainly not off the beaten path at all, but we were the only ship in port and the people I spoke to in the shops and in the restaurants didn't even realize that a cruise ship was in until we told them because it was not overly crowded. I guess they're used to a certain amount of tourism here, but it certainly isn't like what we expect when we get off a cruise ship or there's two or three cruise ships at a port and the throngs of people coming off the ship for the day sort of overtake and overrun um, some of these port cities and, and some of the, you know, some of those islands where we go. I see old building, old building, old buildings. And the old theater, although the old theater is really nice. Oh yeah, it's a cool old theater. Very neat. It's not the most beautiful, but I think it's pretty old. This fountain must be really old. All right. Uh, oh yeah, but it is quite. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> You should get your selfie again over there, hon. Piazza del Duomo. A big plaza. Yeah, this is what we were looking for. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. No, no, still here in Piazza del Duomo. It is quite a big plaza. I mean, this is really one of the bigger ones we've been to. I don't know all the buildings, of course. But it is. Very scenic. And there's our group. Or a piece of it. There's a lot of us here. There we go. And as you heard, Dwayne, we finally did make it to the main piazza of Catania called Piazza del Duomo. <laughs> A traditional name that we found many many piazzas named after the the church dome um, and here's the inside of this really beautiful church it was really a, a hidden gem this piazza was huge it was beautiful it had tons of shops lots of restaurants and the people were oh so friendly um, really really enjoyed our time here in Catania uh, waterfall I wasn't able to get before very nice. Cathedral Bar, which some of our group is visiting. The what? The Cathedral Bar, right here on our left. And some of our... Yeah, I see Jenna and Zach in there. Okay. Okay. Well, they're in there. Other shops. A lot of nice architecture. Yeah. Yes, there is a farmer's market. Huh? There's a farmer's market, there's little stores, little shops everywhere. Uh, is that the pharmacy? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Someone wanted the pharmacy. Actually, Jen was going to teach me what you asked to put in here. What? Oh. Well, let's, can we ask? I've never even heard of it, though. We should check. 
Yep, so we continued to walk around this beautiful piazza to take a peek into the shops, to look at all the different um, cafes, bakeries. We went inside some of the buildings, um, inside the church. And we were here with a large group. My mom was here, um, my sister, my sister-in-law, my niece, uh, her fiance. So it was quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit of us were on this tour. Like I said, we filled the little yellow bus. It's fruits and veggies. The cherries are beautiful. A lot of different fruits, vegetables, stuff we don't necessarily have. Quite a lot. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's like a deli. And oh, this is our pit stop. We stopped for a little bit to get a drink. We decided to actually stay and, and grab some food, um, grab some lunch. Very, very nice restaurant. Really, really helpful um, servers and, and people. It was great. Uh, I don't know. They'll, they'll come back. So we'll see what happens. Playing very nice. Oh boy, look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like some seasoned sausage. Oh, look at that one up there. Oh my. <laughs> Craig would love it. That is beautiful. And after lunch, we did do a little bit more walking around the piazza. There are some side streets from the main square that actually led to what you saw before the farmer's market, for example, where they sell fruits and veggies. And there's also a fish market that I guess if you do want to see the show they put on, it's in the morning. We got there too late and we had missed most of the action at the fish market. Um, pretty much nothing left but one man with one fish and everything pretty much barren. Uh, I think there's a shot of it coming up ahead. But you can see beautiful, you know, umbrella line streets, a lot of construction going on. That seems to be par for the course. Um, you can see another area here where they're selling fresh fruits and you know, really beautiful. This street was another side street and it, it was filled with umbrellas and the umbrellas were actually providing some shade over the different cafes and the different places where people were stopping to, you know, get a drink, have a cup of coffee and just hang out and kind of soak in the, the Sicilian atmosphere. I really enjoyed Catania. It, it was really, really fun. I, I loved the street with the umbrellas. I think I took like 10 pictures of just this one street. But um, it was an unexpected stop for us, and it was wonderful. Here's more shots of the farmer's market where they have so many different fruits, vegetables, but also a lot of meat and a lot of deli-type things like salamis and, and things like that. It, it really felt like this is where people went to go buy their food if they lived here. So it was very, very interesting and, and just really wonderful. Um, you can see all the different restaurants. I would love to just hang out here for a couple of days and just try the different cafes and try the, the different restaurants. The one we went to had amazing food. Amazing food and um, if you didn't quite know how to order because the menu was in Italian with some loose translation, um, the servers who did speak a bit of English were very willing to help and to listen to what you liked and then kind of make you a plate or something that you would really enjoy. Here is where that fish market show usually happens. We got here too late. Nothing but that one man and that one fish left. And I are, there you go. That was our day in, in Catania pretty much. We missed the fish market show, but that's okay. Got so much fresh meat. Beautiful cuts of everything all through here. This market area is really big. Very nice. And that is Mount Etna. It, the smoke is trailing way. Well, it, it erupts like it just it erupted two days just ago. Amazing. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna spin. And I are gonna jump in real quick. In the here. shot. 
in the shot with Etna in the back there. There we Mount are. Mount Etna. Yeah. In That's Sicily. Us in Sicily. Heading to the Amalfi Coast. To Salerno. Salerno. And we're going to do a nice little boat ride tomorrow. Yes. All right. That's, this is what, this next one is the one I'm actually looking forward to. I, I mean, the pictures I've seen of it, I'm really wanting to see this. And I think you'll love it, just like I do. So we just saw a great show, a very talented musician. And um, now we're going to take it easy, maybe get some snacks and call it a, a night. Unless we won't play later, we'll never know. So anyways, thanks everyone. We'll uh, see you. Bye. In Salerno. Salerno. Yeah, Salerno. Okay. And now I'm teeing up dinner here for you. We had dinner at the Teppanyaki on the breakaway, and it was so fun. It's basically a Japanese meal and a show. Quiet and most romantic restaurant here yes. on board. Yeah. Yes. 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 I want to see him. Yes. Yes.
We have your dead body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The dead body rice. So I love you over your dead body. Okay, we'll see what he does. He's still making it look like, you know. Okay, so our group over here, I see octopus, I see scallops, I see some, lots of shrimp, and some veggies. That's their side. Oh, look at that piles. Oh, they got a lot of seafood on that side. Yeah, sizzles. All that seafood. Calamari, shrimp. That shrimp is smoking. Lots of lime, lots of butter. It looks awesome. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. A little waffle cock. Oh, someone else got some. Ah, Janet got some. Alright, here comes a little shrimp. He's going around. He's making the rounds. There are lots of steak on our side. Not so much over there. And more seafood. One more steak. And after dinner, there was actually a show in the main theater, and it was this multi-instrumentalist who happened to play everything from the guitar to the pan flute. Here's a little of what we saw, Stairway to Heaven. Yeah. 